There was a meeting with uh, Peter Brehm and some other people from the Berlin Philharmonics here in Berlin. They told us that they would love to do a project together with the Scorpions. And we said, that's like amazing. We were like blown away. We said, of course, we would love to do something like this and work with the Berlin Philharmonics together. But we were aware that this is, is quite a challenge, you know, for any rock band, you know, to work with the best classical orchestra in the world. I think the ice melted very quickly and, you know, it was a great recording atmosphere. This is the first time the Berliners have ever done a crossover project. We felt if we do this project, it has to be, it has to be top class. And it also, the Berliners have to shine and we have to shine too, so it, it can't be rock music with an orchestra in the background. We came here to get really the perfect sound. Somebody came up with the idea and said there is one studio which is in the former uh, site of the DDR, Berlin, because the room is so is the best room in, in Europe, where you can record a classical orchestra, and that's the reason why we're here, to make it sound perfect. We found the right person in Christian Kolonowitz, uh, who did the arrangements, who did an amazing job. A guy who, is, who feels comfortable in both worlds, in the classical world and in the rock world, and who is conducting the orchestra now here in the recording sessions. Uh, and also later on for, for the concert, we're doing the Expo 2000 in Hanover, June 22nd in the Preussack Arena. You know, the Scorpions ballads are very dramatic. Um, soft beginnings, very powerful choruses. And this is what you, what, what you can put into an orchestra really easily. Because uh, orchestra is, in, in another sense, very dramatic, of course. You know? So I liked the idea and I joined in. Christian Kolonowitz is uh, like, you know, he's the, the perfect guy for us in this project because he's been not only a great uh, conductor, he's also played in a rock band like 20 years ago. So he has had that feel for both worlds, which is so important. Moment of glory, caught evolution, could I see? You need a certain acoustic for, for a rock band and an orchestra, and if it's too echoey, forget it. And this was the, the right amount of echoey here. And the atmosphere is great, you know, it's, it's actually rock and roll atmosphere. First time when I, when I clapped into my hands, I knew that this was the right place to work. Moment of Glory is uh, the official Expo anthem now, and uh, which is great for us. We are from Hanover. Now we have the first world exhibition ever in Germany in our hometown, the Expo 2000 in Hanover. And it's great for us that they've chosen one of our songs as the official anthem. We already had the idea to make a concert in Hanover for the Expo 2000. It's fantastic, after all these years traveling around the world, playing our music to all the different countries, and now we can play yeah. our music to so many different people who are coming to the Expo 2000 in our hometown. The great thing about this project is that you really can go off-road. You want to work with other singers, you want to do a duet, you want to work with the children choir. The girl is a young American singer, her name is Lynn Lichty, and uh, I think it was one of our people who said, this girl is very cool, and listen to her voice, and we should meet her, and that's what we did. So I joined them in the studio in Vienna for a while and we tried a couple ideas and we came across this song here in my heart and we played around with it and, and Christian came up with some really beautiful harmony ideas so we worked on it, it was great and uh, we had a really good time, it was really fun. 
you know, she has a great voice and together they sound excellent. You know, sometimes vocals can be great individually but don't sound great together. But those two voices really match very well. <laughs> Klaus and her, the voice, how they, how they came together was perfect because it makes the whole thing for us more interesting and also to give the people something else for, for the look and also for the ears. Yeah, All right. good one. It's my favorite color. So just have a basic black top. All model, paper fender. There's my signature. Oh, my God. It's good. Huh? Yeah, what oh, nice. I wonder who nicked that Polaroid. A scorpion really means, you know, uh, that you're 24 hours, you know, you live music and you travel around the world, you're constantly playing music, and after all these years, it's still very, very exciting. My favorite two concerts I ever did was uh, Us Festival in America, in California, in front of 350,000 people. Playing live for the Scorpions is, you know, what we like best. And we've been doing this for over 20 years now around the world again and again. And, you know, we, we, we still love it. Wise man say, just find your place. When we uh, worked one and a half year ago in Hanover uh, of the Unification concert in Hanover, we had a duet with Sucuro from Italy. And this was going so well and this was so fantastic that we was impressed how Klaus fits with Sukuro and the voice and the, all everything. We said that would be a fantastic idea when we would do it with the, with the crossover project with the Berlin Philharmonics because then we have something different to show. Being here in Berlin now and to hear songs like Send Me an Angel with beautiful arrangement, which is so powerful and hear the Berlin Philharmonics like play with so much passion and and really power, you know, it's exciting. With an orchestra, everything has to be very precise, very like in harmonies worked out. It's like 80, 90 people playing certain harmonies and everything is much more sophisticated. I very much in, enjoy working this way. The only thing I don't know is if we do like our next studio album without an orchestra, what that's gonna feel like. For us, the best part of the whole thing is just to be on a stage and play live. That's true after all these years. I mean, we're a rock band, you know? You want to really rock. That's the real deal, you know, to go out on stage and perform live together with them. Everything comes very good together. The Berlin Philharmonics, the Scorpions, the Expo Amson, and the Expo 2000 concert. Everything is like perfect in time. It's great.